from June 1st, all airlines must disclose the final price of airfares to travellers both of the, at the point of advertisement and when purchasing flight tickets. The Malaysian Aviation Commission, MAFCOM, said this today as the updated Malaysian Aviation Consumer Protection Code, MACPC, now requires airlines to publish the final price of airfare for flight tickets. According to MAFCOM, if airlines fail to heed the regulation, they will be slapped with penalties. Yeah, breach of any code, they are the financial penalty. Hmm. So, hingga 200,000 ringgit hmm. per uh, offence. Kepada syarikat penerbangan. Syarikat penerbangan. Dan lapangan terbang. Dan lapangan terbang. <laughs> The announcement on the new regulation was made today at the official launch of MAFCOM's Fly Smart Mobile application, a consumer-centric initiative by Deputy Transport Minister Datuk Kamaruddin Jaffa. Also effective June 1st, refunds on flight tickets should be reimbursed to passengers within 30 days from the date of the passenger request for a refund. And if the ticket is purchased through a travel agent, the airline should reimburse the travel agent within the same period. The amendments also include a refund to consumers on passenger service charges, taxes, fees, as well as charges prescribed under any written law for both refundable and non-refundable tickets should a passenger not travel. Meanwhile, the Transport Ministry also said today that there will be no ceiling price for domestic airfare tickets during the festive season, despite that its minister, Anthony Lok Siu-Fuk, said his ministry will continue to monitor the situation closely. I know that there are a lot of reasons to keep the ceiling. We have talked about this. I have already said it many times to the media. Kalau kita mengambil langkah tersebut, syarikat-syarikat penerbangan ini akan menaikkan harga mereka pada biasa, pada hari biasa. Maka mungkin untuk hari pelayaan kita akan ada satu harga yang lebih tetap ataupun harga siling. Tetapi ini akan memberikan kesan kepada hari-hari biasa. Dari keseluruhannya, dari harga kebiasaannya mereka akan meningkatkan harga perata mereka. Ini yang kita telah bincang panjang dan... Uh, uh, peni kajian telah dibuat oleh pihak Maskom dan kita telah mengambil pendekatan bahawa kita minta dulu syarikat penerbangan tambah bilangan penerbangan, tambah flight kita tak letakkan harga siling tetapi kita tambah bilangan penerbangan supaya purata harga itu dapat diturunkan Lok also explains to the media that airlines do have a fixed rate to certain destinations and the increase in flight tickets is due to market forces he was met earlier when launching a new express bus at the Tasik Selatan Integrated Terminal TBS in Kuala Lumpur. According to the minister, the new service will offer 10 ringgit discounts to travellers from Klang Valley to Kota Baru, Kelantan.